Hello everyone, my name is Spike. Well, actually that's not my real name. You see, I'm making this broadcast to you a bit secretly as a surprise for Martin, who is the head honcho, the big cheese or the boss man. He doesn't know I'm doing this, and I am a bit worried that if he identifies me, I could be for the high jump, for not asking his permission. Mind you, I don't think I could jump very high anyway. I'm a pretty nifty climber though. But I digress. I want to tell you a bit about me and the friends I have made here at Hornbeam Wood Hedgehog Sanctuary. Last autumn, I was found in a garden in Hertfordshire. I was very small, and I was getting very anxious and frightened about winter looming. I knew that I wasn't heavy enough to survive winter in the wild, especially if it got really cold. You see, I would have needed to be at the very least 600 grams in weight to be able to hibernate and stand a good chance of surviving. I think I was an orphan because I didn't have any parents looking after me. Lucky for me though, the people who live in the house spotted me and knew that I was at risk so they wasted no time and picked me up and took me along to Hornbeam Wood Hedgehog Sanctuary. When I arrived, Martin examined me very carefully. He's very gentle, you know, for a big man. Then he popped me on the scales. Right, he said, it's bed and breakfast over winter for you, my little friend. Actually, we hoggies start with supper out in the wild and carry on foraging until almost breakfast time anyway. Martin set up Hornbeam Wood Sanctuary because he cares about us prickly creatures. So, long story short, I was cared for and I gradually put on weight over winter. So here I am now as fit as a butcher's dog, as they say. I want to tell you about the fantastic care that all lucky hedgehogs get under Martin's watchful eye. I mentioned some sad cases like some of my friends who have been brought in injured due to strimmers. They are deadly machines, so just you be careful if you use one. Others have been caught up in discarded netting. Sometimes friends have lost an eye or are completely blind. It's awful what some of us suffer. If Martin and his helpers can get us nursed back to health, we are released back in the wild if it is safe for us. Some, though, stay permanently at Hornbeam, like a blind one or one that has lost a leg. It's a lot of very hard work doing so much for us. And that's the point I'm coming to. I want to put something back as a big thank you to Martin. And that's why I'm making this secret appeal to surprise him. It takes a lot of money for vet bills, food, equipment for the hospital, not to mention repairs to cages and buildings. There are hundreds of us brought to the sanctuary every year. By the way, no one gets paid for the work they do at Hornbeam Wood. So, here comes the commercial appeal, the begging bit. No, don't rush out to put the kettle on. Please hear me out and bear with me. 
You'll have to excuse me because I've had no training in fundraising. So here goes. <laughs> Please will you make a donation of money, food or other items on the Hornbeam wish list? Or would you like to become a member with a monthly donation? There are also items to purchase that include some very nice gifts. Whatever you can do to help will be so very welcome. And here's a slogan I picked up from a supermarket commercial. Every little help. All the information about donations and membership is available on the website. That's www.hornbeamwood.org.uk Hornbeamwood is all one word. Please don't just think about helping, because that means you'll probably forget. Strike while the iron's hot, as the saying goes. Please make Martin a happy bunny, and then all his guests will be happy hoggies. Please take action now, just like the TV commercials always tell you. Thanks for watching, and I know you want to help us little creatures. Oh, just one last request. Please make a hole in your garden fence the size of a CD so we can move around and also put a dish of fresh water out for us to drink. That can be a real lifesaver. Bye bye.